I came up from doing a lot of digital media for years and years, uh, as you described, and I had this moment where I had been serving these certain clients, big clients doing very, very powerful work, uh, a lot of social change work, a lot of entrepreneurship, a lot of uh, alternative energy work, and they were all coming to us to create these videos that would travel far and be seen by many people, animations, different videos that would tell their stories. And I realized that the people that were coming to us were in fact incredibly powerful storytellers. And yet they were saying, please make this video, please make this media that will travel across the world. And I kept looking back at them and saying, what about the stories that you have to tell? What about the 99% of moments that you're out in the world and your stories need to be told? And I, I made a turn and I, and I turned to more analog, the analog world of storytelling to help these leaders find their own stories. Yeah, that's wonderful. And so in essence, you, you helped people understand that when the, 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 the power of the story it can be so much more impactful than just the, the numbers or the, or, the, or the decisions. That's right, the, the facts and the data are absolutely essential, but they're not the things that we remember. The things that we remember are those critical changes, those insights, those moments, those true transformations that the stories deliver. And they've delivered them since the beginning of human civilization. So you started out and you, you moved into the space of storytelling and, and you've helped many leaders craft their stories and develop catalogs of, of stories. Can you talk about some of the hurdles you've had to overcome along the way? Yeah, one big challenge was actually communicating with clarity what a story is. The idea that a story isn't just what happened yesterday or the thing that you say. A story is very specific. It's a journey with a twist. It's a problem approached in an interesting way that makes us care. It's a big change. And helping people to truly understand what a story is and how to find theirs, these were big hurdles. If you could share your approach or your philosophy of storytelling, that would be great for our viewers. I believe that the key is not just all of the things that we say and those great messages. The key is when people wake up tomorrow after they've heard what you've had to say, after all the thousand bits and bytes of information that they've heard in that day before, they're having a sip of coffee, and what is it that they will remember and what is it that they will actually take forward into the day? And that's what stories do, and that's what I help my clients and help the audiences I work with to find their essential insights and their lessons and bring them so they'll be remembered. Now, I think a lot of leaders could really benefit from focusing more on their stories and developing their catalog of stories. Um, so if you were talking to a CEO and you had the, just a just a moment to, to, to give a CEO a, t a tip, a, a, something that they could put into practice immediately. Okay, so let's say we just have five minutes, they're about to go on stage, or they're preparing for their talk, it's a founder or a CEO or a, 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 a prominent speaker, and they, and they come to me and they say, okay, look, I've got this story and I, and I wanna hear what you have to say. A lot of times, what I find is that these stories are very powerful, they're very well told, and the audience really, really loves them. They come up to them and say, hey, this is terrific, your story is so amazing. But deep down inside, mm -hmm. that founder or CEO feels like that story's been told so many times that it's now calcified, it's a little bit of, like it's a little cardboard. And so what I would say to them is go into that story, look again at it, look at it from different angles, explore, are there moments in time which you can bring alive in a way that you didn't do before? Is there a change that's different? Is there something for this particular audience that truly would offer them a transformation? So you go back into that story and you bring it to life and you deliver it in a different way. And then that story ends up really uh, illuminating and impacting everyone around uh, that much more. That's right, and that, and that speaker gets a new gift, which is life into their story, which they didn't have before. Oh, that's wonderful. That's a great way to, to, to close out our interview. Jay, I wanna thank you so much for being on the show.